Come join us and have your say. Let's talk about our way. Remember you are not alone. Buddha is the light in your home. We'll talk about Buddha. We'll talk about our way. Come join us and have your say. Let's talk about our way. Remember you are not alone. Buddha is the light in your home. It's 8.30 Nigeria, 9.30 in Cairo, and I think it's 11.30 in the Gulf, but you guys know what time it is. It's time for viewers pause, you guys. It's a very, very, very special episode. Assalamu alaikum and welcome, and thank you for watching viewers pause, and thank you, as always, for watching Huda TV. I have a very, very special guest in the studio, Mr. Ahmed Sopi. He, this man made Hajj together with me this last year. Ahmed Sopi, a good friend of mine. I'm very pleased to have him in the studio. Please welcome him, you guys. Hopefully, we can have him via Skype, perhaps, later in the episode. We learned together when we made Hajj that truly Mecca entirely is Haram, not just the mosque itself. It was enlightening for all of us. So may Allah accept our Hajj and uh, grant everyone Hajj uh, in the future, inshallah. That's Ahmed Sopi, my dear brother in Islam and Hajj mate. Having said that, let's get right into the program, you guys. You know the phone number, 002 or 9. Let me say that one more time. It's 002 248 or 249. Of course, if you're calling from Egypt, it's a local call, so you can remove the country code uh, and you can um, make that call for free, inshallah. <clears throat> Of course, we have the email as well, pulse at huda.tv, pulse at huda.tv. I respond to those personally. I feel like a doctor, you guys, because I'm always checking your pulse. This is the viewer's pulse. That's why we made it, to take your feedback, your pulse, and know what you guys are thinking about the channel. So please take advantage of that. How many channels give you the opportunity to do that? So please do that by calling, by sending me an email at pulse at huda.tv. As well as the Facebook, you guys, support the Facebook by liking it and sharing it and sending it as well to your Muslim and your non-Muslim friends. Facebook.com slash Huda.tv. I thought it was Huda.tv until Brother Osama Hashemi informed me that it is now officially .com slash Huda.tv, which makes it a bit easier for everybody. So one more time, 3w.facebook.com slash Huda.tv. Skype as well, you guys. Really, Skype, Huda underscore TV. It's for free, and you can use that one for all the programs, Huda underscore TV. You can even participate via webcam in all of our programs. So keep that in mind. You can get your face on the screen and give us your feedback for all the programs. Straight Path, Ask Huda, Let's Talk, This Show, all of them. Any program you see on Huda TV, you can use that Skype ID. Ha going back to Facebook briefly, you guys, every individual show has a, a, a Facebook page. Please like it. Please share it. Please, you know, you guys can interact. Like we have a brand new show, Living Hearts, with Sheikh Zainuddin Johnson. You can introduce yourself to him, give him ideas for topics, for possible programs, etc. Get to know the presenter or Sheikh of the show and have your input. Let us know what you, you need personally, individually as a Muslim what your, your, your community needs as well, and whatever country you come from, what type of programs, what type of issues you think Huda TV uh, can address, what scholars you'd like to see, uh, that sort of thing. So please take advantage of all these uh, mecha feedback mechanisms. Uh, like we said, email, Facebook, uh, phone call, Skype, and of course this program uh, as well. Uh, re really quickly, you guys, we, we, we've been receiving reports uh, from our viewers, especially in Nigeria, although I did get a call yesterday clarifying the, the situation with the, with the now SAT 201 in Nigeria. Having said that, we did change the frequency, the FEC, from 5 slash 6, 5 over 6, to 3 over 4. We did that last Ramadan, you guys, but I think we're missing out on some viewers. A lot of people uh, didn't stay on board with us because they, did sim they didn't change the frequency on the receiver, so please do that. I have prepared a short clip, which I showed to you guys last time. I just want to reiterate it, so please watch this video, grab a paper and pen, write down the coordinates, and change it on your receiver to get the best possible signal for Huda TV. So having said that, check out the video. <laughs> Huda TV has migrated effective July 1, 2012 to NowSat's new satellite craft ship 201. We would like to inform our viewers that you need to change the FEC from 5 slash 6 to 3 slash 4 and the frequency is the same at 11747. This is a great step forward to extend our coverage south to include the entire continent of Africa, inshallah. <laughs> All right, you guys, so I hope you got that. Five over six is now to three over four. It's pretty simple. Just input that into your receiver or satellite device, however you can do that, in order to get the best possible signal. Uh, in the meantime, if you, in the meantime, we always, we do have a phone call actually from a sister from Nigeria. Assalamu alaikum, sister. Thank you for calling. Go right ahead. Go ahead, sister. 
Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum. Thank you very much for calling. Go right ahead. Um, okay. Um, the other day you were asking if, of, um, if the caller could recommend a sheikh from hmm? Nigeria. Um, sister, let me repeat what, what, what you just said to make sure I heard it clearly. Are you asking if we are going to bring a sheikh from Nigeria soon? No, no. Um, I was listening to the program and you asked um, a caller if um, he could recommend a sheikh from here in Nigeria. Yes. Yes, I was asking. Um, so, yeah, so I'm calling to recommend sheikh the announcement. He's a sheikh here in Nigeria. Okay, what's his name? Saadat. Okay. And perhaps you can email his, uh, his information, his contact information and full name to the email so that way we can contact him. Would you be able to do that? Okay, if I can. Okay, let me give you the email, right. sister. It's, uh, it's the email of this show. It's pulse, which is uh, P-U-L-S-E at huda.tv. Just send us that and we can go from there, inshallah. All right. Uh, thank, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate when the viewers call in and and respond to what we're asking and really try to uh, really help the channel and, and in turn help themselves as well because like I said we've been calling on people to to bring us scholars respected scholars from various countries around the world including from Southeast Asia you know Malaysia Indonesia Singapore Pakistan India <clears throat> West Africa really all over the world we want to reflect the diversity the wonderful and beautiful diversity of the Muslim Ummah by bringing scholars from all around the world however however of course it's difficult uh, to make uh, connections with people and of course financially it's costly as well but we do our best you know we are based here in uh, in Cairo however we do try to include everyone from all around the world and bring them here to record beneficial programs that benefit Muslims from every corner of the globe so having said that if you guys know a possible scholar from the from uh, from your country for from where you are um, please uh, email me at paul.hooded.tv and we will go uh, from there I want to thank that sister from Nigeria for uh, for calling in and recommending a Nigerian Sheikh and just as a FYI or a public service announcement we have been searching for some time uh, for uh, sco from scholars from uh, Nigeria, just to let you guys know. Uh, having said that, you guys, I already showed you the frequency report. I want to get into the general news. We do the general Huda TV news. That is, we do have some exciting developments. As you know, brother Omar Sheer, a wonderful brother, a uh, good friend of mine, uh, really the genius behind Huda Academy. Uh, he's taking over Tech Talk, inshallah, for season two, which will appear. Uh, we will be, which will appear, inshallah, the coming January, the next month. Uh, he will be in the studio. Thursday, inshallah, the day after tomorrow, to record, the, to record, that is, the first four episodes of the upcoming season, Tech Talk, so you don't want to miss that. You can count on a good quality program and series and season from Brother Omar Sheer. He will be addressing uh, the main uh, focus, I should say, of Tech Talk this time around is uh, really using technology to benefit ourselves as indiv individual Muslims, as parents, etc., and as well as our communities. So the first, from what I understand, the first couple of episodes, inshallah, will address social media. How does social media work exactly? And better yet, more importantly, I should say, how do you make social media work for you? Everybody's using Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, uh, Medina. What else is there? Uh, there? There's too many to list here. Google Plus is a newcomer in the game. Everybody is using the so MySpace. Everybody is using these social media sites. But the question is, how do you make them work for you? And how do we use them in a proper Islamic way to benefit ourselves as individual Muslims, as mothers, fathers, sons, daughters, you know, this sort of thing, as well as our communities? We do have a phone call. I'll get right back to this point. Brother Abdullah from Ghana. Assalamu alaikum, Brother Abdullah. Yeah, from somewhere in Ghana. Brother, thank you so much. I appreciate it. What a beautiful name, Abdullah. I love that name. Go ahead, Brother. Yeah. Go ahead, Brother. I can hear you clearly. Go ahead. Yes. Hello. Hello, brother. I, thank you so much, yes. brother, for calling. Please go ahead. Barakallah Fiq. Okay. I want to thank for, for the program. I want to thank the program. Excuse me? I come from Ghana, 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 somewhere. Okay, you're calling from Ghana, right. So go ahead, brother. Al-Haji, Al-Haji, Al-Haji Abdullah Hassan. Okay, thank you, brother. Haji Abdullah. Go ahead, brother. No, I want to thank the program. It's a very good program. Okay, brother. Go. Okay. Is that, is that, do you have anything else to say, brother? Anything else to share with us? Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you, brother. Certainly, I appreciate it. The line was a bit cracky. I couldn't quite hear, brother Abdullah. Hajj Abdullah Al-Assad from Ghana. Thank you so much for calling. Please, 
all our viewers from Ghana. We don't get too many of you guys calling in, so give us a call and let us know uh, how we can fit your needs. And like I said, if you have presenters or scholars that you would like to see appear on Huda TV, certainly email me at paulsouthuda.tv and I can see what we can uh, do in that regard. Going back to Tech Talk Season 2 coming up with Brother Omar Shear. I told you guys he's the IT genius behind Huda Academy as well. He's talking about how to use social media to benefit you. And interestingly enough, he will explain how it works, what it means to like and share, the percentage of people that see your posts, all these interesting stuff, stuff uh, things that you, you, know, you may not consider, uh, and how to use it in a beneficial way, a uh, time-saving way. Uh, it'll be really interesting. Furthermore, Brother Omar, really his genius lies in the internet, and he has a lot of great ideas. And he told me this. He said, Brother Malik, my main pro one of my main concerns or focuses for Tech Talk this season, I really want to teach Muslim people how to make halal Muslim businesses online so we can benefit Muslim men who are young, who are looking to get married, but they can't afford it. So they can have a source of income in addition to their regular work. Or married men who have a wife and families to support. They can make money additionally. Uh, from home, for using the internet in addition to their regular employment. Furthermore, he said to me, and per perhaps even more importantly, he said there's a lot of talented Muslim women there who can't work because work environments are mixing and there's a lot of bad stuff, or perhaps they're at home raising their children. It doesn't give them the opportunity to work. He said, Brother Malik, I'm going to teach them how to open up halal Muslim businesses online to help support their husband and their families and contribute to the welfare of their of their family as well. So this is very, very important for everyone. And I would advise Muslim sisters as well looking to establish online businesses to not miss Tech Talk coming up season two with Brother Omar. So having said that, you guys just tune in to Tech Talk. Uh, like I said, inshallah, you will begin filming uh, the day after tomorrow and we'll be airing in January. Just get online, 3 wshoodatv to check to check uh, the airing dates, the broadcast dates, uh, get online, uh, www.hooda.tv. Having said that, we have Brother Muhammad from Nigeria. Assalamu alaikum, Brother Muhammad. Muhammad Karubi. Brother, I'm doing great by the grace of Allah. How are you, Brother? Brother, I'm doing great by the grace of Allah. How are you, Brother? I'm very grateful that I'm watching your uh, station. Mm. Well, I, brother, I'm very honored that you called in, brother. Thank you. Go ahead. Go ahead, brother Muhammad from Nigeria. Go ahead, brother. I believe the line dropped. I apologize. Sometimes, you know, it's a little bit difficult using the Skype. I just hope you guys can get a good connection and give us a call. Make sure the connection is strong. Or perhaps just call from a, a really uh, good landline with a strong and clear connection in order to benefit uh, the viewers that are watching at home so we don't, uh, you know, in order for them to hear clearly as well. I want to move on, you guys, and look at some other Hooded TV news, some general news. It is confirmed that my good friend Abu Yasser, Dr. Steph Carries, the author, we actually have another call. I'll get back to this point. We have Brother Hassan from Cairo. Assalamu alaikum, Brother Hassan. How are you? Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Very good to speak to you, Brother Malik. And actually, um, uh, I have been um, uh, following your uh, travel to Hajj. And actually, I'm very proud now to speak to you. Brother, it's my uh, honor to speak to you. Thank you so much for, for calling in, Brother. Go ahead. Thank you. Uh, actually, I would like to share with my brothers all over the globe a very good uh, um, Muslim website, which is www.productivemuslim.com. Yes. Which actually, which consists of all of uh, good uh, advices, uh, nasih and, uh, and all the uh, social media that you are speaking uh, of it so that they can make it uh, work for them and also other uh, related uh, nasiha and advices. So uh, I really urge all the people uh, who are seeing us right now to uh, go and visit this uh, valuable website. And, and brother, perhaps you can give them the website one more time, inshallah. Go ahead, give them the website again. Absolutely, I would do. Uh, www.productivemuslim.com Brother, you know, actually we had the pleasure of attending the event there. Uh, you guys put on at Al-Asar Conference Center in uh, Vic in, in Oh, Min this was one year before. Yeah, I was there. It was a great time. I had a wonderful time. Oh. Thank you guys for inviting us. Yeah. Yeah, yes. yeah. Actually, I, I was. I didn't know b before the, that uh, this uh, uh, network actually uh, have organized something in Cairo. Otherwise, I would I would I would have liked actually to. Participate. Next time, so. yeah. brother Asa, I want to advise you as long as you're in Cairo, please give us a visit. Uh, and me Media City here, you're welcome to, be, to appear on our programs, and, and we'd like to meet you in person, and thank you for your support. But having said that, brother, take care in Cairo. I know there's a lot of protests around the city here and around Cairo, so may Allah keep you safe, brother Hassan. Okay, thank you very much. We'll try to get in touch with you. Thank you so Okay, thank, thank you, you so much, okay. brother. Okay, salam alaykum. Alaykum, brother. We have Sister Iman from Egypt as well. 
Assalamu alaikum, sister, go ahead. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Thank you so much for calling. Go ahead, sister, Thanks go ahead. Thanks for having me. Um, I've been watching your program regularly, and uh, my question is, uh, or my thought about it is, I really miss the feminine input in your program. It would be, I think it would be a very nice thing to have some female speakers, and I'm wondering why there is no female scholars on the program, because I think that would really motivate the yeah, the great, great sister. I'll tell you what. Uh, you know, my e the email is paulsatholder.tv. If you send us an email with possible suggestions uh, for female scholars, as well as uh, other ways also to get the female input, as you said, uh, we'll we'll see what we can do. Inshallah. I know that uh, some of the brothers in the channel are are working on um, some small clips of uh, hadith and things from the female companions or uh, statements of the female companions. So if you email me uh, some female scholars available here in Cairo, as well as some ideas that we can get the feminine input into the to the programs uh, in the meantime, then we will definitely consider it, inshallah. Inshallah. Okay, because also there, there's many things that we can do. Uh, we, we, I mean, sister, I don't know if you noticed, we did have a program about um, uh, hosted by Sheikh Shadi Soleiman called um, the female companions, I believe. Did you see that one? Uh, no, I didn't. Okay. Perhaps, the, the perhaps get on YouTube. That, um, I myself have never met a Muslim uh, female scholar, and it would be such a great thing to see them. So Certainly. I'll tell you what, send me an email to paulsatholder.tv, and I'll definitely follow up with you and see what we can do to get that uh, the female input into the channel. Thank you so much, sister. I appreciate it. Sure. Salam. Alaykum Like I said, you guys were taking everybody's feedback, and we try to accommodate everybody and to give uh, and to learn and take suggestions and to make the channel the best channel that it can be, uh, inshallah. So we want to thank all the callers, including the last caller, for watching and for giving us your valuable uh, input. We certainly do uh, appreciate it. And I take, all those I take all that stuff seriously, and I do, I do regularly read my emails and respond and follow up to all the callers and to all the e people that have emailed me. Uh, just give me a couple of days, inshallah, because we do receive a high volume. Uh, having said that, before those phone calls, I want to really just go back to confirming uh, the author of Europe's Forgotten Ottoman Heritage. And, uh, excuse me, the, uh, the book is titled... Uh, Europe's Forgotten Heritage, uh, an Ottoman guide through, uh, a historical guide to Ottoman Greece, rather. It's on Amazon.com. It's written by Dr. Steph Kiris. He also hosted the show, Europe's Forgotten Heritage, the same title as his book. It was a really a smash hit. A lot of people loved it. I'll get back to this after we take this call from Sister Fatima from Nigeria. Assalamu alaikum, Sister. How are you? Fine, thank you. I'm appreciative of your program. Thank you so much for calling. Go, go right ahead. I, I certainly appreciate your call, sister. Go ahead. You got your what you did. Excuse me? You got your what all of you. I I'm sorry, can you repeat yourself, sister? I, I think the line is a bit... Perhaps you can deposit your question, your comment with the brothers in the control, inshallah. Uh, in the meantime, let me go to Muhammad from the KSA. Assalamu alaikum, brother Muhammad. How are you? Wa alaykum as wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh. Brother, thank you for taking time uh, to call. My, Go ahead. Yeah, uh, my request is that uh, there is a, a peace conference uh, in India, uh -huh. which was attended by about 25 to 30 scholars from all over the globe. Right. We just want you to uh, air that uh, programs once again on Huda. Oh, right, right. When is that coming up, brother? When is the peace conference over there in India? No, it's already over and it has been uh, shown on Huda TV earlier. Oh, we okay. Just wanted, uh, Keep airing it. We you just yes. wanted to be re telecast again, uh, inshallah. I got you, inshallah. Okay, brother. So you're basically, brother, you're basically Muhammad okay. from the KSA. This is the Dr. Zakir Max. Sure, of Dr. course. Zakir yeah, brother, Max, I got you. Uh, inshallah. No, but, uh, wa alaikum salam, brother. Thank you so much for your call. I appreciate it. May Allah bless you. And yes, I got your uh, point there. Uh, you would like us to uh, replay and keep playing the peace conference that was just wrapped up there in India with Dr. Zakir Naik and, uh, and the guys there. Of course, we had the pleasure of, of, uh, um, of attending the peace conference in Dubai. We met a lot, a lot of good people, a lot of good friends, really family from Huda TV. I really I had a wonderful time because our hosts were so gracious. And, uh, you know, they were people working at, uh, you know, em uh, Emirates Airways and, and, you know, people that had family lives. Uh, in regular work, but they, they took time, they really took time out to show us a good time. You guys know who you are, so I certainly appreciate it. Uh, we do have a brother from Ni Nigeria as well, Ibrahim, I believe. Assalamu alaikum, brother, go ahead. Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum, Sam, brother. Thank you so much for calling, brother. What, what part of Nigeria are you calling from? I am calling from the northern part of Nigeria, Borno State. Which state? Kadano State? Borno, Borno, 
Oh, you know, I got you. Okay, yeah, okay, good, good, good. So you speak Hausa, brother? No, I speak Kanuni language. Ah, okay, Kanuni language, very good. All right, brother, you know, I, by the grace of Allah, I just made Hajj, and there was a lot of Nigerians making Hajj, brother. From that state as well, I saw them. Yeah. Uh, this is my uh, first time for calling this program, and I'm very happy. Well, brother, I'm happy that you called me. I certainly appreciate it. Go ahead, brother. Uh, my question is, uh, this particular program, is it talking about Muslim on Twitter, on Facebook? Yeah, brother, yeah, this program really, it's really meant to address, to take the feedback, your guys' thoughts and feedback about the channel, and also to follow what's going on on the social media as well, Facebook and Twitter, uh, Medina, all this, to YouTube, all this stuff, yeah. So yes, you're right, brother. That that is the point of the program, and of okay, course, I would say the main point of the program is to take your guys' feedback in order to develop right. ideas for new programs. Inshallah, we keep calling and uh, contribute our quota to the will of God. Inshallah. I mean, thank you, brother, for your call. I certainly appreciate it. Thank you so much, brother. I look forward to hearing from you in the future. Inshallah. Uh, as long as you guys uh, can hold the phone calls just for a moment, just want to go back to uh, Dr. Steph Kiris. We'll be here, Inshallah, from January second through the 17th, to film Spread of Islam, which will be like, similar to his first program, The Earth Forgotten Heritage, which showed the, the spread of Islam through Europe, which was a beautiful and amazing thing. But this time we'll be talking about the spread of Islam throughout the entire world, including America, that's right. Uh, everywhere from, from, from the Arabian Peninsula, of course, through Egypt, North Africa, Europe, Asia, inshallah, to the moon as well, inshallah. We'll find out if, if Islam has spread to the moon on that program. So keep an eye for Dr. Steph Kiris, a.k.a. Abu Yashar. In the meantime, don't forget to watch his program, uh, Watch his programs on YouTube, Steph Carries 9. Speaking about YouTube, please thank the brother. The YouTube channel is titled Teach Peace to You. Teach Peace to You. Check him out. He's uploaded a lot of programs on YouTube on that channel, a lot of Huda TV programs that are beneficial. Don't forget uh, Outstanding Muslim Parents. That was a, a smash hit. You can also find it on the Teach Peace to You program as well, uh, Outstanding Muslim Parents. Couple, uh, some other news I want to give to you guys before the program runs out. Uh, Nation of Goodness with me and Kareem Abu Zaid. Uh, Sheikh Kareem Abu Zaid, I was honored to hit, host it. Should be broadcasting now. Just check it out, the time on the on the Huda TV Facebook. Also, Brother Jabril, uh, a prominent Romanian revert to Islam, a Dai based in Dubai. His YouTube channel, Islam Dunk TV. He will be here, inshallah, to film Sunnah Style with us, a program aimed at the youth. Also, don't forget Ismail Bulak, based in Dubai as well. Uh, he's a great brother as well, and we will, inshallah, be filming with him as soon as possible. We have a lot of news with Dr. Muhammad Salah. I just want to go over it quickly. I know the show's almost over. He's still recording Ask Huda Facebook. It's aimed exclusively to answer your Facebook question. Facebook.com slash MS official, M Salah official rather, that's M Salah official. Get on there, watch all those programs. Uh, he will, inshallah, we have a surprise for you guys. Dr. Salah will, inshallah, be recording a new program, excuse me, live once a week titled Gardens of the Pious, you guys. It'll be it'll start in January. Having said that, let me just go over uh, uh, the YouTube uh, programs as well. They can be found online. Uh, at, uh, at the, at, on YouTube, Abu Wan, Abu La. Just simply type in Ask Kuda Facebook. You will see the first nine episodes there. And like I said, a big surprise for you guys. I just broke the news on Viewers Pulse. That is, Dr. Salah will begin an all new program only exclusively on Huda TV live once a week starting in January titled Gardens of the Pious. You guys, thank you for watching Viewers Pulse. Thank you for supporting Huda TV as always. So until next time, I leave you in the care of Allah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. We'll talk about Huda, we'll talk about our way, come join us and have your say, let's talk about our way, remember you are not alone, Huda is the light in your home, we'll talk about Huda, we'll talk about our way, come join us and have your say, let's talk about our way, remember you are not alone. Buddha is the light in your home.